Hi, and welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Uh, this is a special episode tonight because Anna is, it's its her episode. So, so, so there you go, Anna. My episode. All right. It's all right. Episode. So I've been, I've been bugging these guys that we should stop just doing um, mindless repaints from Hasbro forever. We should do something mindless? more amazing and original. And eventually I talked them into allowing me to talk about the, um, I'll just say the spotlight best figure of 2019, which is Calculation Keen, as available right here. What? If, okay, so if I'm going to host Christian, do you really expect me to be completely serious? No, I don't. <laughs> and you're welcome. Okay, so Go. I'm going to talk about Calculation King tonight. And these guys, um, Lucas has kind of messed with Calculation King for like two minutes. Christian has never seen it except in the frequent pictures I said have every day of how beautiful <laughs> Calculation King is. It's um, every day. It's, it, it's it really crazy. is. It's like somehow, Calculation so. King having breakfast. Uh, Calculation King going to the bathroom calculation king walking the dog i mean i get all kinds of pictures and and, and somehow anna dog. saying hey they have a new repaint of calculation king like should we should i get this one too really thinking about it really thinking about it so calculation king came out uh god it was probably like two or three months ago at this point it took me a while to get mine because um yeah it just took a while for mine to ship i got it from shows and it was a little slow um, but it eventually came and I, um, I have prepared tonight, which is really odd because it feels like I'm not prepared because I just now got my video to work, but I prepared tonight with some photos of various parts of the Calculation Keen lifestyle. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome i, I love that like right on cue is you're like the calculation king lifestyle it just like <laughs> falls off Front club. there you that's go what we do. It, it's a that's knockoff what we do. That, that's that's yeah so that's the two i have i just do front floods off of so my 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 spare camera is my phone sitting on Fortress Maximus's knee balanced in front of Calculation Keen, which is the kind of high class thing. You know, that reminds me, by. Anna, like I, I have an extra stand for your phone. Just just come over and get it at my house. Like you your can house is so far away. It's yeah. at least a minute. Yeah. Okay, so, so ooh, this is great because I'm not even on camera right now. This is the best show we've ever had. Um, so right now you can see the team for Calculation Keen. So it's a five-part combiner. It seems like it's probably a traditional combiner, but it's got a little bit of weirdness to it. It is um, kind of sort of like, it was kind of sort of pitched as being um, Computron. It's really not Computron. <laughs> Hey, I have a quick question for you, Anna. Um, uh -huh. So, so it looks like that you actually got all of those mint and sealed box. Is that right? That's right. That's right. So, so when you got those boxes from like China, was it like one massive box or was it individual it was boxes? A massive box. It was a very large box because these are not small figures. These are like Voyager sized. So, so when you got that, like, was it just covered in a bunch of that like? Chinese tape and like Absolutely. bubble wrap and stuff. So did oh, it look geez. like that? Like was your your postman whenever he dropped it off? Like was he like really worried that you're like dealing in some type of illicit substances? Probably pretty certain that I had a small body in there. Probably. <laughs> okay. 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 Good. Like a dog or something. Not a and, person. That would just be too extreme. And and did you potentially get cancer from like? inhaling those like fumes from china like when you right, you so know like when you open the box in china, down. yes you know we all know that smell that that smell like that you're like 
like what where did this come from okay. you want to make fun of these figures but here's I'm the not thing making, i am not making fun of the figures i am just saying that every box from china it comes or whatever it's it has a very unique smell that I, this one didn't. smells like cancer this one didn't. <laughs> smell like cancer <laughs> This one, it's the tape, this one it's that foam, like it's the newspaper sometimes. I don't know. No, this one no. smelled like math because it's calculation keen. Oh, okay. <laughs> the smell of math is beautiful. Very quantitative. Okay. So anyway, math flavored robots. Um, that's the math flavored robots. Got it. Make your fun, have your jokes. But um, they are, like I said, they're vaguely... Um, Vaguely CompuCon, not really. They're kind of technobots, not really. In robot mode, as shown here, they kind of really do look like the technobots, except for Scattershot. He looks a little weird. I want to see, like, what does that have to do at all with CompuCon? Like, that's what I'm trying to figure out here. Because, like, should I get, like, a G1 CompuTron? Or, like, here, get, let, me, let me get my knockoff CompuTron that I have that's, like, a G1. And we can uh, we can compare because I feel like that this your How's figure. This knock off Computron to do. show. No. How does it not? It is. Uh, it is no one told me I could prepare mine because I don't have one. All right, Christian, help me out here. How okay. is this not Computron? It is a little spaceship, a bigger spaceship, a car, a drill, and a bike. That's Computron. Yeah, basically, this. I, I don't know, Anna. I, I feel like that it looks nothing like it. I'm well, holding up Computron, and I I don't see a resemblance at all. It's okay to be wrong. <clears throat> I feel like this is giving knockoffs a bad name here. Wow. Wow. You're just... You know, I mean, like, that looks well, it's not too unique. really a knockoff, right? right? First it's an original off, design. This isn't a knockoff. <laughs> This figure is not a knockoff. It is a unique mold. It is all new figures. And this is the figure that's kind of sort of light speed. You know, it's a red car. And that is the car mode. And I have pictures for all of them. Don't worry. And there's the drill mode for the drill guy. This is why everyone tuned in here. Slideshow. Do you have a PowerPoint you could put up? I, I wanted to make a PowerPoint, Lucas, but I had to do my job instead. I know, it's a real waste. <laughs> it's a real waste of talent. Um, and that is the bike and the small orange ship, which is kind of sort of straight. Can, can you zoom in on that a little bit? I'm, I'm having a little trouble seeing that there. Yeah, I guess. There you go. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying, it's like, it's very small. So there's them, and then um, the last one is the scattershot. And honestly, I really like a lot of the alt modes from the set. I think the um, cars alt mode is really good. I think that the scattershot type things alt mode is really good. Like, that's a lot better than the spaceships we're getting from Siege right now. Um <laughs> It's actually a legitimate looking spaceship. <laughs> what is your stay, deal? What is your last Stay in your one? lane. Quit attacking Siege. <laughs> what are you talking about? Wow. Them. You're really not the truth. Leave them out of it. I'm attacking the truth. The motorcycle oh, so, so I, I do not I think is very good. For you, just that before you go in depth on these guys. So if I were to, you know, I wanted to purchase this thing, right? And I'm like, oh, my God, like, this looks so amazing. I want this knockoff trash. Or, I'm sorry, this original mold trash. Uh, where where would I find this at? Like. Lots of places. Like, I don't know. Like, they have thing on eBay. Toys, they have it on Shoz. I mean, okay, so Shoz eBay. eBay. Now, are there a couple sellers? Like, because we don't want people to get like ripped off from like. Some I would just use Robo Toy Base. They're fine. <laughs> okay, so Robo Toy Base uh, is is uh, Sir Toys. Is that another one that has it? 
in stock? I don't think so. I don't think they do. So just out of curiosity, how much did you get yours for? I paid about $70 for mine. Oh, Jesus. She got ripped off. Glenn in the chat is telling me that he got this thing for $36 shipped. That's nice. That's a really good deal. So. I would, <clears throat> okay, I would go, buy, find go me on. the white one for $36 shipped, and I'll have two. And there, finally, is the team in bot mode. As I was saying, I really like the alt modes for the most part. The um, the motorcycle is pretty crappy, and the um, drill is, I mean, really, it has nose cone ever really had an actual vehicle mode except for the original G11 was just a tube with a drill on front, and he's just a tube with a drill on front. It's pretty. It's a decent attempt at the nothing that his vehicle mode's always been. Um the motorcycle though is nothing, and unfortunately the um, the strafe ish guy, the orange one, as I will call it, the official name, um, the orange one, its alt mode is horrible. It's basically the torso of a robot laying down, which you know, I'd say even um, even Siege Soundwave's alt mode is better than that. Oh, Glenn, Glenn has an update. Apparently, he paid $66, not 36 So, you don't have to feel as bad. So, I guess you said I didn't feel bad at all. I am proud to have paid $70 for this because I think it's a really good combiner set. Um, they don't all have ankle tilt. They all have good arm articulation except for the motorcycle guy. He does not have, um, what do you call it, like shoulder flexion, like shoulders go out. He doesn't have that, which is weird. Um, and the scatter shark guy is actually a lot of fun to play with. Like he transforms really well. He's good to play with. They're all easy to transform. They're all like, you know, the complexity of a of a deluxe class figure. So they're, they're about what they look like. I would say the um, the only negative I have with these guys in their separate modes is that unfortunately they all only have one color of paint on them. So they're all just the molded plastic with silver paint. Wait, wait, hold, so, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, So, okay, so so this is the guy you've been, like, singing his praises for, like, a month or whatever since you've got this thing in, it's, right? It's, it's way I'm more saying, than a month. Before I'm, she even got it, listener, she was, like, pining after it for, like, two months. I'm still Actually, pining like a year. after it. I want a second one. Okay, like, so, like, as soon as you saw pictures, you're like, man, I wish this would finally come out. And we're like, Why? And then you have it, and you're like, it's the best thing ever. And it doesn't have I'm paint. explaining why it's hey, the right, best thing ever right so, now. So, okay. So, so what I'm hearing when you're sitting here explaining this all is that you say no ankle tilt, which is like a non-starter. You spend all day, every day ripping on Hasbro figures for not having enough ankle tilt, right? And it doesn't Three have enough paint. out of the five paint. have ankle tilt. Maybe four out of the five. And and it doesn't have enough paint. And so, and, like, we haven't got to it, but I think uh, the head articulation, how much head articulation does that combiner have? The combiner doesn't. The the regular guys do. They all have regular head articulation. And, and lack of paint. So pretty much everything that you sit here and rip on and spend every week ripping on Hasbro figures for, you're like, I can't do Hasbro figures anymore because they don't have enough you know, paint articulation, blah, blah, blah. And then you bring this guy on. It's like your wonderful thing. You're like, he's so amazing. Yes, I guess that just means that love is blind. I think Here's that's the what thing. it is. Here's the thing. I'm comparing this to like. I'm not comparing this to Masterpiece Combiners. <laughs> I'm not comparing this to Siege Figures. I'm comparing this to Combiner Wars Combiners. And compared to Combiner Wars Combiners, it has more articulation, more articulation. There's um, no way. More interesting zero percent chance after thing. Nope. A more interesting combination, and pretty much about the same amount of paint all day. Can, can we get Rob on here to tell him that this is better than masterpiece? <laughs> I would be happy to tell him I enjoy this more than masterpiece. I, I have this running I joke with, just... with Rob about about masterpiece versus siege stuff. So, yeah. 
it, it is not better quality than Masterpiece, but I've had more fun with it than Masterpiece. Like, it's actually fun to play with, right? Like, they're all stable. They all move well. They stand well. They pose well. They all come with pointless little swords. They're a fun play set. So if you don't need your toy set to be, you know, official Transformers characters, and you're okay with them being some weirdos, I think this is a really good set. So yeah, you I haven't really covered... Oh, no. you. I, my head's on here twice now. I have to fix that. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's what you've always wanted, right? It should be back to normal anime. Okay, that, there we go. All right. So so now, we, you know, you've covered the individual modes. Like, you've done our little slideshow and everything. What That's right. about What about this combined mode? This amazing thing over here. Does this sword... Does that sword with come with the figure? Absolutely. The sword okay. is fantastic. Um, I actually can't see my own. There we go. Uh, <laughs> it's really hard to judge where it is because I can't really see the um, the feed on the phone, but I think I got it there. So yes, the sword comes with the figure. Um, it actually is just a little bit too small to give to Fort Max for a sword. Like I gave it to my Fort Max and it kind of looks like a short sword that he plays with for funsies. Um, it's a really nice looking sword in hand though. Like it's got good details, good clear plastic. It's probably very similar to all the Fort Max solds that are sold just a little bit small. Um, it's made of the individual weapons, but to be honest, the individual weapons aren't exactly amazing looking. Like, the little swords are okay. Like, the sword blade breaks out into six different little swords. So you can give any of them two little swords to fight with. Those look okay. But the um, the other two pieces of the hilt there, they split apart to form two sights, hammers, things. They do not look like anything. When the characters hold them, they look like nonsense. Um, but the sword's pretty cool. He can hold it just fine. He can um, swing it around, all that good stuff. Um, the combiner itself, as you can see, is a little bit different than most combiners. Like, two guys um, were in the leg. Hey, Anna, just, just out of curiosity, you said that he can hold the sword, like, swing the sword around. So can he actually hold the sword? Like, up? Yeah. Like, the arm is strong enough that it's not going to, like, fall over if, yeah, if you it's put fine. the sword on. Okay. I'll put it well, in sand sure. later, but right now I'm talking about the makeup of the combiner, which is important okay. because that's one of the things that attracted me to it, is that it actually did combiners a little bit different. It did the whole two-part torso thing, where one is the chest and one is the waist and upper legs, which I know some combiners have done that before. But then the, the scattershot character splits in half and becomes the arms which I know it's a thing that Wei Jane's done and it's other combiners like Fire King. But um, to me, this is the first time I've seen it. And it actually makes a fun individual figure. Like as an individual figure, he's well built. And he just has really big arms and legs. So he's kind of ape-like. So it's kind of fun. Um, but then for combiner arms, you get all the stability of a full figure that isn't like stretched out weirdly or anything. And the, um, the hands are integrated into him. So the hands actually look look good. They move okay. They're about what you'd um, expect for a built-in combiner at that like kind of deluxe or retail level. Um, the feet are, they're fine. They are kind of weird. Because, you know, one is the front part of a drill and the back part of the drill if you want a little bit of heel support. The other is this, like, kind of thing <laughs> and some other things in the back. They work. They keep them standing. Um, and most importantly, you can pull off some ankle tilt enough that you can get him to hold a lot of different poses, um, which is good. So as a combined figure, the articulation is pretty good. Like, the arms have good articulation. The legs have good articulation. And the ankles have enough tilt that you can pull things off. Just the only thing is, as Lucas noticed or mentioned earlier, his head doesn't move, which is kind of a bummer, considering you're already dealing with the fact that the head is probably the weakest part of the sculpt. 
in general. Look at my camera. There you go. It's not a great head. It's okay. Like the head itself isn't really that bad. The problem is that it only has one color of paint on it, just silver. Yeah. So are the eyes are are those silver or is it um does it have like a, a clear translucent? No, it's a silver visor. Silver visor, okay. Silver visor, silver ear horn thingies. Now it doesn't have any uh, waist swivel or anything, right? Uh, no, it doesn't have waist swivel. The legs have full articulation, but because of the way it's built with the straight guy being the full torso, it doesn't have any waist swivel, mm -hmm. which is a bit of a bummer. Like, that's an actual thing I was a little bit disappointed in, but as far as, like, the rest of it, I think it's a really fun combiner. So, I mean, the, the main part of the story with this guy is you end up with a combiner that, you know, moves better than most combiners, poses better than most combiners. And is actually different, is actually unique, which is what I want in figures, right? I talk about this almost every week. I want to see something new. I want to see something different. I want to see something that takes a little bit of a chance and is a little bit creative. And this is that. This is what you get when you get creative. <laughs> and this is the reception you get when you do something creative, too. You get two-thirds of microcasters kind of rolling their eyes at it. <laughs> No, uh, I, I, I just, most... uh, you know, I, I'm just having fun. Uh, I know you are. But, I know. Uh, Christian I, is actually really designed. Yeah, that. no, he's literally like, you know, Christian is wondering, he's like, you know what? Megatronia was available earlier today on Big Bad Toy Store. You could have had Megatronia, but yet, because you're getting, you know, Calculation King and Whatever other knockoff stuff or whatever that you can't it's afford. It's not a knockoff. Um, <laughs> it's, it's so made by a way. rather famous knockoff company. So yeah, mm -hmm. and it's from mm -hmm. a famous mm -hmm. knockoff company. It's true, but they can make original stuff or steal the molds from someone else. <laughs> we don't know who they are. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. it very well could have been, in, you know, from another figure in in China. You have no so. idea. Um, I, I do want to mention in the chat. Uh, Glenn says that he is with you, Anna. So um, he, he says you, Glenn. That I appreciate a, it. A big old combiner. It poses better than Combiner Wars. Just sells. It has a gigantic sword for splitting skulls for only sixty six dollars. And individually, they border on lame, but they're on par with Combiner Wars Deluxes. And he's glad that he got them. So yeah. So th thank you, Glenn. I appreciate right. that. If they're on par with Combiner Wars, how are they better than Combiner Wars? Can't be both. I, I, so I would say they're better than Combiner Wars. Our viewers said they were on par. Why do uh, I think they're better? I mean, that's easy. Yes. They have slightly better articulation. They have better Where? detailing. Huh? Where's the articulation? Looks like the it does the same thing as anything else. They are, I mean, I, Okay, do I need to put my photo back up of the five together? What can any of them do that a Combiner Wars Deluxe can't do? Hold on. Hold on. We got to have double Lucas mode for a minute. All right, there's our five beautiful robots again. And so if you look, almost all of them have ankle tilt. I think the only one that doesn't is the... Um, Scattershot-ish guy. Or not scattershot, but um, strafe. The rest of them all have ankle tilt. Um, the okay, drill guy tilt, is actually why. really dynamic. Kind of deluxe-ish figure. Um, as far as his articulation and like the way his arms move and everything. Um, so they add the ankle tilt. They have, you know, full shoulders and um, what do you call the upper, the leg shoulder. Hips. So nice. that's called. I believe that's right. Um, so yeah, they move, you know, a little bit better than Combiner Wars, most of the case. And to me, they just look neater because they're more original designs. So, okay, so like right now, I could probably go to Big Bad Toy Store in their clearance section and grab whatever random combiner wars that they have and just put them together randomly, you know? Like, I can get, like, four deluxes on clearance and, and uh, you know, one of the, the combiner, like, one of the mid 
sections. Like I think Inferno was that that um, Betatron I think was like in there for ten dollars or something like that, right? So I could probably build one that would be a unique combiner for sixty six dollars. I'm betting. I, I may have to challenge myself to do this, but would you say if I can get five Combiner Wars figures? or Power of the Primes, or whatever, they have the same thing. Would you recommend Computation King, or would you recommend putting together five random Combiner Wars figures into whatever random combiner that you want to call it? For for a person who's who wants that original design and a new toy, I would say definitely to get Computation King. For you, I would say to get your Combiner Wars, guys. <clears throat> So what you're saying is, is because the fact that the Combiner Wars figures, like you've seen those molds a thousand times now, by this point, you're bored with it and you need something different. That's is that right? Well, no, not just that. I mean, I actually do like the. I mean, I legitimately like this better. But like, like why do you like cooler- it better than random? I like it better than the actual combiner teams. Like the legitimately put together teams. Because it's unique. No. I just like it better. Yeah. Like unique or not, I enjoy it more. And like what what about it makes it better though? What about it makes it better? Like, why do you like well, it more? Like, like, cause, cause you went over and you said that it doesn't have more paint. The it, like, the articulation is similar. The transformation, I guess, is cooler. Is that what you like better about it? The transformation is definitely cooler to me. Okay. Um, and then, um, I would say I I enjoy the robot modes. I like the way they look as robots. And their alt modes are okay. They're just as good as Combiner Wars. Yeah, I I will say, you know, so, I mean, I only handled this for, like, a couple minutes. Um, It it seemed like uh, the plastic seems pretty good. It seems like there's a a fair amount of plastic. Like, it doesn't seem hollow at all. Um, So, I, I think from that standpoint, like, it seems pretty solid. But, again... I didn't really have a chance to mess around with it that much. Like I think my, my, my personal biggest complaint about it just in, you know, combined mode was, is the head. Like I, I thought that the head kind of ruined everything else. Like it just really screams like, I, I don't know. I mean, I, f- I feel like for a figure that it seems like that they put a lot of effort into it and a lot of, you know, like, I mean, it's high quality plastic or high, qu- like it, like it feels solid. Um, it, I, I think my biggest complaint would be that head that it just. <laughs> he decided to take a trip. I like how it you're like, solid. he's totally solid. He's great. And then he like. Bonk. Yeah, he's balancing a big springs box here. It's a hard life to have. So. Well, if you like him this much, I'm glad you have him. I. I'm in Transformers for characters, and these guys are nothing to me. Right. Whereas, you know, I like the Technobots because I like the Technobots. Right, and right. I think that, that's kind of the bummer about original designs, right? Because when people, when these companies do make original designs like this, and they are no one, people lose interest, right? Like the character collectors, the completionist collectors, the G1 people, they all lose interest because... This isn't anybody. Like, this is literally best I can tell from the fact I can't read the comic that comes with it, because the comic is also actually about Fire King, not Calculation King, um, which is interesting. I'm assuming that these, like the Fire King characters, are robots that are piloted by people, kind of Power Ranger style. And, you know, they're not even characters. You know, they're things that get piloted. So, you know... 
See, that's where I think it would have, like, I think that they could have done a better job with the colors. Because I think if they would have done a color, like, like if they would have done the colors on this in, you know, Computron colors, like, for all the, the bots... I think I would have been more on board. Like, I don't really mind if the, if the modes are a little bit different than like what they were and whatever, like, but it throws me off that there's all this blue and all that. It just looks nothing like Computron to me. I think also like, you know, you mentioned about Power Rangers and mechs and whatever, like if they did Power Rangers colors, like now that would be interesting too. Like how they did those Dinobots or they didn't do those Dinobots, but somebody did the, the uh, knockoffs of the, Power of the Primes Dinobots in um, uh, Power Rangers colors. Like, I think if they had done that, that would have also interested me because it's at least homaging something, you know, whatever. The fact that they, like, just have their own complete unique thing, I don't think interests me as, as, as much. And it's been the same thing with that Fire King uh, that you talked about, too, because I thought that looked neat as well. It just didn't, like, it's. I'm like, why do I need this thing in my life? Yeah, and that, that's the thing for me. You know, I like to collect cool robot toys, and I don't really care. Like, I haven't actually consumed a ton of Transformers fiction. Like, I've consumed G1, Beast Wars, and Beast Machines, um, like the first season of Prime, um, the first season of Cyberverse, and then a little bit of comics here or there. But I haven't consumed, like, all the fiction, right? Like, I don't know who everybody in my collection is as far as, like, really character development and whatnot. You know, there's a lot of them that are just kind of like, I know their name. I know who they are, basically. But I haven't really had a big relationship with them. So this isn't much different for me. You know, it's like, I can pretend it's the Technobots or I cannot. And it doesn't do a whole lot for me one way or the other. Now, I will say, (laughs) along with your complaint about the colors... The fact they made the motorcycle blue, I just do not understand. There is no color coordination that suggests blue is a good idea with the rest of this figure. And there's no history of a blue motorcycle guy. Um, I guess, like, maybe they were going for, like, oh, it's a blue motorcycle, like Prime RC or something. I don't know what they were thinking. I have no clue there. That is the one I look at. I just go, why is it blue? Earlier, I was joking around with my co-hosts, giving them all names. I give them really stupid names. And the blue one's name is, why is this blue? Because (laughs) I just don't get it. I don't get why it's blue. Now, unfortunately, and this is a frustration that kind of like, Weijin's kind of made me angry twice in this way recently, is right after this version came out right after I got it. They announced the um, all white and red version. So all the guys are white and red. So it actually makes a more coherent combiner instead of having this random blue leg and an orange torso, it's all white and red, um, which I think would probably have a, well, okay. It's all white and red, except the head is still blue. What? I don't know. They got closer. <laughs> they got closer this time. But I would still rather have that one, probably. But, you know, this one is good for me, too. I might end up with both of them, just because I really like the set. And I definitely want to get Fire King, which is all red and a little more coherent. Blue. Huh? I thought it was all blue. Oh, there's a blue one, too. But oh. I don't think we should made it. There's a blue one right, so I'm considering. It's what's like the name of the stuff. what's the name of the new calculation one? The new oh I don't know I think it's just calculation key and other colors edition. <laughs> I'll just tell them what we named it though. See Anna, you could you could have had this amazing combiner here for for you know if you're gonna get those those three combiners you're talking about, just get something like this instead. For the price of three combiners, I could have one that I don't like as much. Boy, oh boy, let me consider this. But the, uh, I, I will say this is painted, like, you know, completely painted. Like, all that chest and everything. I haven't actually opened it yet, but, yeah. Th- this is actually well painted, so. Yeah, they are. And I'll give you that. Those Unite Warriors sets are super well painted. 
that's that's kind of a, another thing that almost frustrates me about mm. this set is that it's actually well painted. It's just it's all the same color paint. It's mm. like they actually had a good grasp of how to do paint apps and where to put them and how to apply them. It's just it was all silver. That's weird. Could have been a little more variety. I think there's a lot of weird choices with the set, but I'm okay with it. Like, I think it's great. I think it's really fun. And, you know, as someone who wants more unique figures in her collection, this is what I should be buying, not what Lucas just held up. I like what Lucas held up. I think it's this neat. Is, this is unique. It's very much a Lucas figure. <clears throat> yeah, I'm unique, you mean five repaints. Um, I'm not actually not... going to buy the white version of this figure. That's a joke. I don't actually want two of the same figure at my house. I'd rather have Fire King and Boat Thing. Anyway, I think whenever several of these came out, it was like the, the first time they used the mold, potentially. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so Christian, based on this, are you going to run out and buy yourself a Calculation King? No. <laughs> but I'm glad Anna likes it. <clears throat> Thanks for previewing my likes and dislikes, friend. Yeah. Doing the best I can here. <laughs> I, I don't think it's horrible, but it's not something, you know, when I've seen some of the Weijang figures at like TFCon or whatever, if I've gotten a couple of them, um, you know, they've done a really good job of improving Hasbro figures on like some of their knockoffs. Like, they have uh, upscaled knockoffs they're doing of the uh, Titans Return um, uh, uh, Headmasters that I, I think that they did. It seems like they've done a really good job on those. Um, and um, I know that they did uh, a couple Masterpiece figures, you know, where and those figures look really, really cool. Like they did a, a like an upscaled knockoff like that ended up being like a Masterpiece of like Optimus Prime of the, the movie one that turned out really, really nice. It looks really nice. And and so for me, like, if I'm going to spend the money on a Wei Zhang figure, like, that's the kind of stuff I would get. Um, but, of course, you know, again, like, I I like I like Transformers. But so <clears throat> for this, my recommendation personally would not necessarily be to buy it um, just just because, like, if it was a little bit cheaper, if it actually homaged a Transformers figure, then I might consider it. Um, I, I don't think it's a bad one. I don't think it's a complete waste of money. Like, it's not garbage. Like, I've handled some combiners, knockoffs, or whatever that are just hot garbage. Like, this is actually a decent quality figure. Um, yeah, it's but, fine. But I, I feel like I would, it would, per, for me personally, it'd be wasting money, and it would end up in a bin in like no time at all or sold i i think that for a lot of people it would be wasting money and i it's kind of a bummer to me because i feel like i feel like somewhere the design process and i'm just pretending like i'm imagining the conversation between the designers is they decided that maybe we'll sell more this time if we base it more directly on a combiner team from Transformers because the they did market Fire Keen as kind of sort of like Defensor and it's not at all like Defensor but it's it's not even nearly as close to Defensor as this is close to Copytron but um anyway I feel like they said okay yeah let's go for it let's make this the Technobots and then for some reason they went crazy on the colors they didn't try to make the heads look like the Technobots at all and they just kind of missed just a little bit. I feel like if they would have colored these like the Technobots, like stuck to the G1 colors, they would have made the heads basically the G1 heads, but knocked off. I think people would have bought it. I think people would have said, ooh, this is a unique version of the Technobots. Let's give it a try. But I think because it didn't quite go far enough, but they also went too far for it to be a completely new team, I think they missed a little bit. That being said, I love it. It's great for me, but it turns it into a, you know, just Anna figure instead of a lot of people figure. Yeah. So if you want a unique and individual combiner that you're not going to get anywhere else, that's going to do different things with the combining and that's going to be fun to play with, and the quality level is the same as Combiner Wars figures, 
then, you know, pick this guy up. If it's important for you, for or important to you, for it to be a, an official character or to be the specific character or to, you know, follow the normal trends, then no. Because it's nobody. It's nothing. That was well put. All right. Well, on that, um, do we have anything else, Kirsten, you got, you want to add or anything or? Since Anne's been poking at me with Siege and Combiner Wars all night, I'll say one thing to poke back at her. I would definitely rather get Calculation King than any Legends figure. <laughs> wow. There you go. That's yeah. something. My yeah. entire collection is going to be Calculation Kings and Legends figures soon. <laughs> Great. <laughs> there you go. I, my left hand can easily reach Calculation King. My right hand can reach a variety of Legends figures. I'm glad this will make you happy. I'll stick to my classics and bot bots. Yeah, that's yeah. great. I have no idea why bot bots work for you. So it's 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 all fair. It's something it's something with the cuteness factor and the easy transformation and the real life objects. It's a thing. This I like Perceptor cute. super much because he's a real life thing. It's probably that same sort of category. I don't know. Look how adorable this guy is. So cute. Kind of adorable. I do like the way his arms form. I think that's pretty the, the arms are super cool. I, I just like the fact they tried something different. That that means a lot to me in combiners because I have a lot of the same combiner. Yeah, scrambling can get old, I guess. It can. It has. It's all been the same. I mean, all of my combiners throughout history have combined like Voltron, and I had Voltron as a kid. <laughs> Voltron is awesome. Voltron is Nothing awesome. It's Voltron. a great combination style. I'm not sure I needed it 30 times before I tried something different. I did. I need it more times. That being uh-huh. said, I still need to get a version of Road Caesar because Road Caesar is different. Don't we all need a version of Road Caesar? Yes. That's why I got to get my God Bomber so I can make bootleg Road Caesar. Oh, jeez. That one's going to hit out with Calculation Key. They're going to be bros. That'll be exciting. All right. They're going to robot club together. All right. Well, I think I think on that, we probably should go ahead and get going. So um, check us out uh, tomorrow night. That's my wallet. Regular TFLP. Uh, TF Talk Weekly also went up tonight. So I know that he missed a week with TFCon. Uh, but uh, we're back to the regular, uh, back to the regular schedule uh, this week. So, all right. Well, I'll we'll see everybody later. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a pleasant life.